Thanks for joining us on Steelers TV. I'm joined by Ryan Finnerty, just looking back at the weekend that saw the Sheffield Steelers beat both the Nottingham Panthers and the Newcastle Vipers. We'll start off with Saturday. The emotion, great games to play and a, a great night. Yeah, um, I think uh, it wasn't really your typical uh, Nottingham game and there's a lot of penalties and, and it took a while to get the flow going, but uh, it kind of worked in their favor, being yeah. short bench, whatever, that, they, uh, that the game was slowed down and, and I thought five on five, we, we dominated them. And, uh, you know, they battled hard, you got to give it to them, they played well. You know, their short bench even shorter after two or three periods, they were losing guys every other shift. But, uh, you know, at the end of the night we got the two points and that's yeah. all that matters. A lot of emotion, the fans love all that as well, don't they, and, uh, and a couple of scraps. That was a great fight between uh, Munner and Bergen, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, <coughs> what can you say about Munner? You know, mm -hmm. he's the uh, heart and soul of the team, he doesn't uh, get near enough credit, and uh, that's a big boy to, to stand in there yeah. with. And. Uh, you know, he did, he did, a, did a heck of a job, so uh, I think that really lifted the boys and then, you know, we ended up getting the two points. So. And old Golden Bulls rub it down as well. I mean, he scores goals and he, and he fights Dan Tessier. Yeah, he fights <laughs> heavyweights too. Yeah. He does everything. <laughs> Talk us through the end of the game, the penalty shots. You've been in that situation, taking taking penalty shots in in, in the past. The, what goes through a player's mind at a, at a time like that? What was going through Ligoy and Talbot and Daddy's? Well, I think everybody, you know, the Dowdy buried that one, but I think, you know, everybody forgot the hardest shot. To, the hardest shot of the night was the one Joey Talbot has because yeah. he misses, it's over. I mean, yeah. and, you know, Dowdy got the winner, but the hardest one, Dowdy misses, they got a score, and then we, you know, we get another chance. So the, the hardest one that gets overlooked is uh, yeah. Joey going down and burying it because he misses, it's over. And, uh, you know, people forget about that. And, uh, oh. Yeah, that's, when, the, that's the toughest shot of the night. Yeah. When, when Daddy scored, the emotion on the bench must have been fantastic. Just, I think we were so drained that we were yeah. just like, somebody end it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it was just, uh, yeah, it was back and forth. We had one like that in uh, Basingstoke, mm -hmm. actually, at the start of the year, or midway through the year or whatever, and uh, they ended up winning. I think Chambers scored. But, uh, yeah, after a few, it's tough after a few. If you miss a couple, you yeah. kind of go down, you're second-guessing what move to do, or you go back the same one. and. And uh, it gets harder, you know, especially if you're not scoring what to, what to do. You only got so many moves. Yeah. You talk about drained. Was the whole building, the fans, the players, everything a little bit drained coming in here on, on Sunday after such a big night on Saturday? It felt a little like that. Yeah, it felt, uh, you know, those games against Nottingham were at a, like, just a complete different level. Yeah. I mean, even if you only play half as much as you would have played tonight, you're mentally you're drained. I mean, it's just uh, such a big game and you just everybody gets up for them. And then you got to come back and come back to work today, and you know, it's, although today the crowd was unbelievable, mm -hmm. huge and big, and you know, but it's just not the same feeling, and yeah. you got to find a way to get yourself ready to play every night, and and we've been doing that, you know, we've been playing our best, but we're we're putting the two points up, and that's all that matters. On it. with the with the result going the way it did in, in Coventry today against the Belfast Giants, do you players dare just look a couple of weeks ahead and, and think, Crikey, it's almost here now? Uh, you know, I don't think uh, you haven't heard a lot about it. Um, there's no talk in the dressing room of that right now. There's not a lot of talk about when can we win it or how many more games do we have to win. Nothing like that. We are we are still approaching it one game at a time, and, mm -hmm. and you know we're not looking for anybody else to beat somebody to, to help us. You know, as long as we keep winning, we're in the driver's seat, and and that's our main focus is, is just stay there. You know, yeah. control our own destiny. Because I mean, we've been two years now. I've been here where we've been chasing and chasing, and you know, you win and somebody else wins, and it's a push. You know, so yeah. it's a. I mean, last year, like our run that we went on was ridiculous. I mean, the last 20, 30 games, we, were, we won 25 games or something like that, and we never really made any ground on Coventry. Like, it's frustrating. And this year, you know, Belfast is there, Nottingham's there, so it's not just a two two man horse or a two race horse. So, it's uh, it's tough. I mean, mm -hmm. it's gonna be it's got to be tough because we keep giving three point yeah. games to yeah. everybody too. Yeah. Like. I'm saying everybody must hate us because, uh, you know, we always go into overtime. Yeah, we're the team. I had a text off Paul Thompson uh, yesterday and he said, what's the score? I told him the score going into overtime. And he uh, sent me a text back saying, it's not overtime, it's Steelers time. It's just yeah. like we'd like that right now. Just the schedule finally has been kind to us this weekend coming. Just one game on Sunday. Rest very important. Looks a lot of tired bodies in that dressing room right now. Yeah, guys are, uh, you know, physically, mentally tired and... And uh, Maddie's given us an extra day off this mm -hmm. week, and and you guys are looking forward to it, and you know, kind of time to unwind, and, and it, you got You just gotta, you just gotta get away sometimes yeah. to, uh, you know, to get the the guns firing again on on Thursday when we come back, and you know, we'll have uh, three good skates, and then we'll play Hall. And so, but uh, yeah, it it is nice. You know, it seems that everybody else was having one game weekends, and we were yeah. always playing. So, uh, it'll be nice to uh, to sit home on a Saturday and just kind of watch everybody else play and see the results, and you know, all we're 
in the comfort of our own home. So. But on Sunday, Ron Finnerty will be back here at the arena. The Sheffield Steelers take on the Hall Stingrays, a six o'clock face-off here at the arena. You can buy tickets, of course, if you buy them before close of business on Saturday. You buy them at last year's prices as well. Ryan, thank you. Good thank job. You. I'll see you Thanks soon.